I am coming back to you guys with another 151 update. It was just nine days ago that I made the video talking about these booster bundles being back in stock. And I just wanted to give you guys like an up, like 151 is just doing 151 things and we need to talk about it. So the booster bundles, this is when they were like 50 bucks, right? 51, uh, I made the video. I talked about if you want to be notified, join the Discord. Link's in the description if you want to join. Tons of people were able to buy them. It was a massive restock on Walmart. It just kept coming into stock. So many people were able to get so many boxes. And the price, you can see the price tanked down from 50 now down into the $43 range. That's to be expected, and that's good. A lot of people were able to pick up um, those booster bundles. So like I said, if you're interested in picking those up, if they come back in stock, join the Discord. Link is in the description. We have over 250 members now. Uh, it's growing. It's, it's really great. Good community there. We're going to touch on a few more sealed products, but it's the single cards that I, I really wanted to make this video about. The 151 UPCs, as you guys can see, we're up to 15% on the one month. So most of what we're going to be looking at today is on the one month chart, okay? Just because I wanted to see what it's, it's, what it's doing recently. I didn't want to look at it too long term, uh, but we will touch on that in a few spots. 15% on the one month, uh, $141. Now, this is what's interesting. In the Discord, speaking of, we had some people just this morning talking about that. They didn't see that many UPCs on eBay. And you can see, look at this listed median price, 170 So expect these to continue to run. So that is very interesting. Uh, it looks like that UPC price is just going to keep going up. Uh, then we'll touch on, this is the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. Uh, 5%, you know, not a huge gain but five percent on the month and yeah into 139 with the most recent sale at 146 listed medium price at 155 so expect this to keep going up as well then we have just the normal etb uh this one's it came up to like 76 it's down just a little uh 11 on the month and it's it's looking like it's going to keep going up listed medium price around 78 so it might be a, a little slower on the way up but this is what i wanted to talk to you guys about it's mainly the Charizard. So this is just interesting. On the one month, 8.5%, which is pretty good for one month. But what I find very interesting, we just cracked 130. Okay? And why that is interesting, we're going to pull out to the one-year chart here. The uh, one-year high right here, we're coming up to 134.98. So what what is this Charizard going to do when it cracks this one year high. I don't know. Are, are we going to crack the one year high? It's just, uh, honestly, it's just crazy because there's so much 151 product out there that's been opened. Although like right now, it's kind of hard to get your, your hands on English 151, especially at or below MSRP. And obviously, so, uh, yeah, very interesting things with the Charizard. So it's just kind of wild that it's about to touch that one year high. It wasn't that long ago. This this card was just a little bit over a hundred dollars. So, very interesting that just one fifty one just keeps chugging the demand. It's honestly it's just insane. It blows me away. Next up, uh, we're gonna look at the Blastoise once again. Everything's on the one month time period. I just wanted to show what it's doing recently. So, uh, we will zoom out on a few one years just to see where they're at, like in relative to the one year high. Like I said, but almost ten percent on the one month for Blastoise. Just cracked fifty-two dollars. We'll pull out the one year just to check on that high. So we are still a little ways away. Not too much dollar-wise. Fifty-six being the one-year high. So four dollars away from that one-year high. What like what is gonna happen, man? When when we hit those one-year highs, are they gonna continue to run after that? I I don't know. It's crazy. I one fifty-one is one fifty-one. Now the Zapdos eleven and a half percent over the last month. Cracking the $40 range, $42. Pull out to the one year. We'll see if this can uh, calculate for us here. It is not wanting to pull up the one year chart. All right, so we are not going to look at the one year chart for Zapdos right now, but $42. That is crazy. I mean, it just hit 43 not that long ago. Dipped back down and it's back up. So 11.5% over the last month. Uh, this is my favorite card from the set. It's beautiful. You got all the legendaries. Yeah, epic card. Uh, the Venusaur, only up 1%. You know, it had its little run up right here, 45, came back down, came back up, came back down. So the Venusaur, uh, not really on too big of a run up there. And yeah, so not 
every card is making massive gains, and not every card is even going up, as you're going to see. Um, some cards are going down, but it is interesting to see how many are going up. There's a lot that are going up, so um, we'll just ju keep jumping into this, this Charizard. So the 183 EX, it's barely up. It's practically flat, 1.9%, but very interesting that it is still up, and it was up quite a bit right here, up into the $40 range. Um, that was a big move for it. That would have been up 20% on this chart. So uh, it cooled off a little bit after that. But yeah, still positive. Then we have our first card that's really going down. The Alakazam, uh, which is a beautiful card, by the way. I think this one's kind of underrated. Uh, down five, almost 6%. We'll call it 6% here. And so yeah, this one's a little bit of an outlier. Uh, but you can see as it dipped right here, a lot of uh, sales on TCG. 17 sold at that dip. So it uh, looks like this might be coming up a little bit. Then we have the Charmander, which was pretty, I thought was a little high uh, for a while in the 33s. But yeah, it's come down a little bit. It did dip below 30 just for a little bit. So this one is another one that is down 2.3%. So interesting there. Then you got the Squirtle. Uh, super adorable, by the way. Oh, man. Uh, up just under 3%. You know, nothing too crazy there. But uh, still showing a little bit of growth on the one month. Then you have the Charmeleon showing a little bit more. 6.3% on the one month and yeah i don't think ccg player currently does not want us to look at the one year chart so we are not going to be able to do that anymore um but that is fine like i said most of this is about just what it's been doing the last month it's just it's crazy we're i feel like we're it's it's building up to a boiling point and things are just going to explode and we got the bulbasaur pretty even 1.28 percent on the one month chart there 25 bucks you can get this card for which is wild uh, then the Pikachu had a little bit of growth. It had a run-up right here in the into the 23 range, which was 20%. But now it's up just under 5%, which isn't bad. But this Pikachu card is nice. But, I mean, they could have done Pikachu a little bit better, honestly. Every time I look at this card, I see more Pokemon in the background that I didn't see before, though. Cool card. Um, the War Turtle is actually down 4.89%. So it's not every card, obviously. But... There's some pretty big percentage gains that we're going to get to in a second, so uh, very interesting there. Ivysaur. Ivysaur's got big moves. 14.6% on in the last month. So those are pretty... Could have, It was at 16.55 beginning of the month, and then, yeah, it hit. It was up... When it hit $24, up 47%. That's wild. So, yeah, Ivysaur. Um, then we got the, the EX, the full art here. Um, it's pretty much flat, down... 0.46%. At one point, it was up 8%. So, uh, seems like that card's a little bit on the, a little bit on a run down there. So, pretty much flat there. Erica's invitation, up 5%. Seeing a, a very similar trend here. The Dragonair, unfortunately, is down 1.45%. Love this card. Feel like it's an underrated um, IR, if I'm being honest. Then we got the Mew EX, pretty much even, down less than a percent. The Venusaur EX. This one's up 12%, which I thought was kind of interesting. So this one's on a little bit of a run up right now. But yeah, I'm wondering with some of these cards, people are buying these, like, are they needing these to uh, complete their master sets? Is that why some of them run up? You just never know. But uh, then we have the Ninetales, pretty much even, up 1.8%. Poliwhirl. We touched on this card before. Um, it was up pretty high for a while. Almost 30%. Yeah, 30% right here. But now it's it's climbing back up. 17.24%. Stunning card. Love this. Uh, the Poliwhirl looking into the reflection. Absolutely great card. Up 17%. We got another big mover here, I think. Uh, Giovanni's Charisma with the Persian. 12.8%. Things just chugging. Everything is chugging. It's wild. Uh, Psyduck's up 5.95%. At one point it was up 21%. Definitely cooled off from there. But still up, so that's very interesting. We got the uh, Alakazam here, 188. This one's down 7%. It was at one point up 6%. It's kind of the ebb and flow of things. They come up, people stop buying them. They dip down, people start buying them. It's kind of just the circle of life. Now this little guy right here, this Ammonite, 23.8%. Now I just went to uh, the Burbank card show. If you guys saw that video. This was one of the guys I, I needed to pick up. I was looking for it. Nobody, there was over 1,500 tables. Not all of them Pokemon. There's a lot of sports there. But 
a good chunk of Pokemon tables there. Not a single person had this uh, card. I, we asked every single table. So that's a lot of people trying to complete their master sets right there looking for it. And, you know, if it was one of the last ones on the list, he was... I mean, he's still cheap at $6, but at one point he was $4 in the $4 range. So, uh, yeah, up 20, 20, almost 24% right now. And at one point he was up 39%, the Ammonite IR. Really cool card, honestly. You got the Am Amistar, you got the Kabuto. Super cool card. But, yeah, uh, big gains there. Like I said, I think people just completing their master sets. Must have been one of the last ones people were looking for. Uh, then we have the Tangela. This is one of the biggest drops. Uh, down 8.5%. At one point it was up 10% though. So it's kind of, it's you can see it really fluctuating. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, right? So uh, that seems to be a common theme for this card. Not a ton of sales either. Then we have the Mr. Mime. Look at this, guys. Dollar-wise, not a big move. But currently up 48%. That's just kind of wild to me. Um, but like I said, my theory is that a lot of people are trying to finish up their master sets like i am and some of these just the lower dollar cards you, you don't need to pick up right away so uh, i think people are picking these up uh to finish their sets off uh, let me know what you guys think if that's right or not um but yeah in even crazier just a few days ago this was up 63 percent back here it was up 57 even when it dipped back down right here it was still up 1.8 so wild that this was a three dollar card now it's in the fives and almost sixes so very interesting there uh with the mr mime last card that we're going to touch on here another one that moved a little bit was the arbok up 8.5 percent or sorry 8.35 sorry uh it's on a little bit of a downturn and still up that percentage uh, it was up 28 percent not that long ago so yeah it's very it's it's interesting to see how these are these are really going like this right it's very uh, wild. So that is going to do it for this one. I just wanted to um, touch on like what 151 is doing. I know I just made a video. It was nine days ago, but I got to make another one because we're, I feel like with this set and tell me if you guys agree, I feel like we're, and I've said this before, we're approaching critical mass. We're approaching a boiling point at which this set is about to explode i feel like the hype every card show every go go watch vendor videos they cannot keep 151 in stock i could not find 151 um people are always asking for 151 the it's on another level honestly and the product is starting to dry up with the exception of that restock that just happened and prices are just it's kind of going crazy and we've talked about this before that i i think this set needs a reprint and this holiday season and i know we haven't got like the announcement for it or whatever and they were trying to move those booster bundles with the distributors and whatever but it just seems like it would make sense for this holiday season there's still plenty of time before then but just with where things are going it's uh yeah it's very interesting I'm keeping my eye on the pulse of 151 just because of how how crazy it is. Yeah, and like I said, something's things are about to blow up is what, kind of what it feels like. So, yeah, that is your 151 update for the week. Um, also, well, if you made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content. So do me and you a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on when I post the latest videos. If you want to stay up to date on... Uh, the booster bundles or anything that comes back into stock or good deals sales join the discord uh, over 250 members there link is in the description um, yeah a lot of great people in there people tons of people were able to snag those booster bundle restocks the poster collections everything so uh, it's been a really great way to communicate that there's buy sell trade there's tons of stuff going on in there so it's a great little community um, also i'm just going to end the video on this did gyarados get screwed in 151 did he i not even an ir i mean come on could you guys have imagined an sir i'll take an ir i think magikarp got screwed too i know he just got some love in paldea but gyarados i think gyarados got screwed one of the original hollows come on ball was dropped there
I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it with that one. Gyarados got screwed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase. <laughs>